In Cozy Albert John Luthuli, commonly spelled Luthuli, c. 1898 to 21 July 1967, also known by his Zulu name MVUMBI, was a South African teacher, activist, Nobel Peace Prize winner, and politician. Luthuli was elected president of the African National Congress ANC in 1952, at the time an umbrella organization that led opposition to the white minority government in South Africa, and served until his accidental death. He was awarded the 1960 Nobel Peace Prize for his role in the nonviolent struggle against apartheid. He was the first African, and the first person from outside Europe and the Americas, to be awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. Luthuli was a lay preacher of the United Congregational Church of Southern Africa UCCSA, based at its Groutville Congregational Church in Stanger, KwaZulu-Natal, where Luthuli was laid to rest upon his passing in 1967. Early life Albert John Mvumbi Luthuli was born in Solusi Mission Station near Bulawayo, in southern Rhodesia, now Zimbabwe. While his date of birth remains unknown, he later calculated his year of birth to be 1898. His father, John Bunyan Luthuli, was the younger son of a tribal chief at Groutville in the Umvati Mission Reserve near Stanger, Natal. He became a Christian missionary at the Seventh-day Adventist Church and at the time of Albert's birth, was working as an interpreter among the Matabili of Rhodesia. His mother, Emtianya Gumid, spent part of her childhood in the household of Sitweo Kampande, the king of the Zulu kingdom, but was mostly raised in Groutville. Albert was the couple's third child. Since no information is available about his siblings, it is assumed he was the only surviving child. Albert lost his father at the age of eight. Sometime between 1906 and 1908, he accompanied his mother to his ancestral home in Groutville. There he lived in the household of his uncle, Martin Lutuli, who had succeeded his grandfather as the tribal chief. In 1911, supported by his mother, who now worked as a washerwoman, Albert entered the local Congregationalist Mission School. Here he studied until Standard 4. Living with his uncle, he also imbibed tribal traditions and values. In 1914, Albert was shifted to Olange Institute. It was a boarding school, run by Dr. John Dube, the founding president of the South African Native National Council and here he studied for two terms. On passing the year-end examination at Olange Institute, Albert was transferred to a Methodist institution at Edendale, located in the KwaZulu-Natal province to undergo a teacher's training course. He graduated from there in 1917. The third son of Seventh-day Adventist missionary John Bunyan Lutuli and Emtianya Gumid, Albert Lutuli was born near Bulawayo in what was then called Rhodesia present-day Zimbabwe, around 1898. His father died, and he and his mother returned to her ancestral home of Groutville in Kwadukuza Stanger, Natal, South Africa. He stayed with his uncle, Martin Lutuli, who was at that time the elected chief of the Zulu Christians inhabiting the mission reserve area now covered by the Umzanyathi district municipality. Lutuli attended the Adams College south of Durban. Teaching On completing a teaching course at Edendale, near Pietermaritzburg, Lutuli accepted the post of principal and only teacher at a primary school in rural Blaubosch, Newcastle, Natal. Here Lutuli was confirmed in the Congregational Church and became a lay preacher. In 1920 he received a government bursary to attend a higher teacher's training course at Adams College, and subsequently joined the training college staff, teaching alongside Z. K. Matthews, who was then head of the Adams College High School. To provide financial support for his mother, he declined a scholarship to University of Fort Hare. In 1928 he became secretary of the African Teachers Association and in 1933 its president. He was also active in missionary work. Topic. Tribal chief In 1933 the tribal elders asked Lutuli to become chief of the Zulu tribe in succession to his uncle. For two years he hesitated, but accepted the call in early 1936 and became a chieftain. He held this position until he was removed from his office by the apartheid government in 1953. There having done so notwithstanding, amongst his people he retained the use of the dignity. Chief as a pre-nominal style for the remainder of his life. <inaudible> Anti-apartheid activist 
In 1936 the government disenfranchised the only black Africans who had voting rights at that time—those in Cape Province. In 1948 the Nationalist Party, which was in control of the government, adopted the policy of apartheid apartness, and over the next decade the pass laws were tightened. Prior to Luthuli's involvement with the African National Congress ANC, Luthuli also had served on the Executive Committee of the Christian Council of South Africa. Luthuli was one of its delegates to an international missionary conference held in Madras, India, in 1938. In 1944 Lutuli joined the African National Congress In 1945 he was elected to the committee of the KwaZulu Provincial Division of ANC and in 1951 to the presidency of the division. The next year he joined with other ANC leaders in organizing nonviolent campaigns to defy discriminatory laws. The government, charging Lutuli with a conflict of interest, demanded that he withdraw his membership in ANC or forfeit his office as tribal chief. Refusing to do either, he was dismissed from his chieftainship. A month later Lutuli was elected President-General of ANC, formally nominated by the future Pan-Africanist Congress leader Potlako Labayo. Responding immediately, the government imposed two two-year bans on Lutuli's movement. When the second ban expired in 1956, he attended an ANC conference only to be arrested and charged with treason a few months later, along with 155 others. In December 1957, after nearly a year in custody during the preliminary hearings, Lutuli was released and the charges against him and 64 of his compatriots were dropped. He stood close to the International Fellowship of Reconciliation that in 1957 opened a branch in southern Rhodesia now known as Zimbabwe. <laughs> Bands Another five-year ban confined him to a 15-mile radius of his home. The ban was temporarily lifted while he testified at the continuing treason trials. It was lifted again in March 1960, to permit his arrest for publicly burning his pass following the Sharpeville massacre. In the ensuing state of emergency he was arrested, found guilty, fined, given a suspended jail sentence, and finally returned to Groutville. One final time the ban was lifted, this time for 10 days in early December 1961, to permit Lutuli and his wife to attend the Nobel Peace Prize ceremonies in Oslo, an award described by Die Transvaler as an inexplicable pathological phenomenon. <laughs> ANC Lutuli's leadership of the ANC covered the period of violent disputes between the parties. Africanist and charterist wings. Africanist critics claim Lutuli was peripherialized in Natal and the Transvaal ANC provincial branch and its Communist Party CPSA officially dissolved 1950 but secretly reconstituted 1953 as SACP allies took advantage of this situation. Lutuli did not see the Freedom Charter before it was adopted by acclaim at Cliptown in 1955. After reading the document and realizing the ANC, despite its numerical superiority, had been subordinated to one vote in a five-member multiracial and trade union, Congress Alliance, Lutuli rejected the charter but then later accepted it partly to counter the more radical Africanist wing whom he likened to black Nazis. In 1959 the Africanists split from the ANC over the issue of the Freedom Charter and Oliver Tombo's 1958 rewriting of the ANC Constitution, founding the Pan-Africanist Congress PAC. The PAC posed a serious challenge to the ANC until its military wing was destroyed at Itumbi Camp, Chunya, Tanzania in March 1980. Umkanto we Sizwe In December 1961, without Lutuli's sanction, Nelson Mandela of the provincial ANC publicly launched Umkanto we Sizwe at the All In Conference, where delegates from several movements had convened to discuss cooperation. Mandela's charisma and the global publicity surrounding his trial and imprisonment upstaged Lutuli, who grew increasingly despondent in isolation. In Mandela's autobiography, he claims that Lutuli was consulted and consented before the formation of Umkanto we Sizwe. In 1962 he was elected rector of the University of Glasgow by the students, serving until 1965. 
Since he was banned from traveling to Glasgow the Luthuli Scholarship Fund was set up by the Student Representative Council to enable a black South African student to study at Glasgow University. In 1962 he published an autobiography entitled Let My People Go. A fourth ban, to run for five years confining Luthuli to the immediate vicinity of his home, was issued in May 1964, to run concurrently with the third ban. In 1966, he was visited by United States Senator Robert F. Kennedy, who was visiting South Africa at the time. The two discussed the ANC's struggle. Senator Kennedy's visit to the country, and his meeting with Lutuli in particular, caused an increase of world awareness of the plight of black South Africans. <laughs> Personal life In 1927 he married Nokakanya Bengu, the granddaughter of the Zulu chief, Diachelikolo of the NG Kolosi. Seven children were born to the couple. Luthuli spent his last years in enforced isolation while African National Congress abandoned the policy of nonviolence. He also suffered from high blood pressure, once having a slight stroke. As he grew older, his hearing and eyesight also became impaired. On July 21, 1967, Lutuli was fatally injured when he was struck by a freight train while walking across a trestle bridge over the Umbuti River near his home in Stanger now Kwadukuza. He has been honored with a feast day by the Episcopal Church USA. It falls on July 21, the day of his passing away. <laughs> Veneration Lutuli is honored with a feast day on the liturgical calendar of the Episcopal Church USA on 21 July, the day of his death in 1967. See also Black Nobel Prize laureates International Fellowship of Reconciliation List of people subject to banning orders under apartheid Topic. Footnotes Topic. Notes Topic. References Topic. External links ANC's Lutuli page Nobel Committee information on Lutuli